Uh, I really can't compete with some of these talks here. I don't have any of the sizzle or any of the flash. Uh, maybe we'll do that in the future. But this is about Django and Jython. Um, this is actually uh, from the base area, Chris of Butte, uh, the new Django's restaurant. Um, I'm just saying Django is opening soon for Jython. We have something that's running. And Turbo Gears, too, is also opening soon for Jython. So what do I like about Django? Um, I had a great debate with uh, Joe about the, or uh, sorry, Tor about this in terms of um, the object shell and debugging. Yes. Um, whether or not that's uh, to be preferred, you know, to um, uh, to the debugger. And at one point, Tor said, "That's just printing." I said, "You got it. It's the read, evaluate, print loop." It's like print line debugging. It's <laughs> not quite the same thing. It's interactive. It's being able to interact with your code. Um, it's a little bit different than just simply printing. Although I do think printing is not a bad thing too. Um, so that's one thing I like about Django is that everything that you do in Django, you basically can go and access through this object shell, and it's a great way of exploring the functionality, figuring out what things are, uh, what happens. You can even take your interactions and turn them into unit tests. Through um, doc test. The other, another thing I really like about Django, and this is of course common to a lot of web app frameworks these days, it is the support for models, the object mm -hmm. relational mapping. But it's very easy to work with. I don't have a chance <coughs> to show you uh, today. Just can't go through it. But just trust me, it's one of the more succinct and nice models for you to work with. Um, the middleware support is. Uh, nice because it utilizes decorator support in Python, um, great support for transactions. Templates work well if you're doing a lot of design sort of stuff. This came, Django comes out of the newspaper heritage and it really shows in terms of being able to rapidly put together websites. And uh, lastly, I just wanted to add this one last thing as we were, as I was seeing all these great um, demos here and I was just feeling a little envious. Um, I was just thinking that one of the things that we have now in Django is support for the uh, AMF format for Flash, which is their, what does AMF stand for? Action Django? Message Format. Got it, okay. <laughs> AMF. Um, <laughs> it's, at some point it's just AMF. Um, we will have the sizzle. That's Django. What about Java? What do I like about Java? Um, I think of it as a great systems programming language. It's really the new C. Um, well, and it's C with a well-defined memory concurrency model. I know, Bruce, you say that the users may be challenged by that, but at least it's well-defined for people who do have an idea of what they're working with. In no, terms of does, though. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. I think that we do have some ideas, and it's not just us. Since we can take advantage of Doug's work, including the concurrent collections, I do really like that about Java. Uh, Java, what other people like about it? Um, I just was throwing some stuff out here. Standardized uh, deployment options. Um, so everyone loves their uh, the ability to do war files and whatnot. One of the things that we're uh, moving towards in terms of Django is being able to get standard WSGI apps, including Django, to run the standard uh, servlet containers and be deployed just like oh, your standard um, war file. Yeah, it's WSGI or WSGI. Um, and I hear, I hear <coughs> that we have IDE functionality. It's coming. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what do I miss? You know, if I did, if, you know, the thing that um, if you're just working in Python, Django on regular C Python, I don't really want to rewrite what's the good stuff out there in the Java ecosystem. Um, and so I thought about a few things, and this is an opportunity for uh, some of you to um, uh, chip in. The last thing I just I thought it would be really cool as uh, um, the anime mashup stuff was going on. It's like why do you have to actually go through that process of being in that um, situation where you're having to do the work yourself? Let's apply machine learning, and there's a great support vector machine um, implementation that's available for Java. We should be able to use that and see if it will win the iron uh, mashup bake off or whatever it was. Um, other good stuff. I, you know, I really don't want to pay the Microsoft tax when I'm working with. Um,